Hello! I want to show you my latest typeface Pimonti and some of its features. I'm going to be working in Adobe Illustrator. Before we get started, however, I want to let you know that if you don't have Illustrator, InDesign, Corel, or Quark that have Glyph and Open Type panels, which you would use to access the swashes and alternate letter forms, you still have some options without having to purchase any additional software. I've pasted in links where you can find more information on this process with utilities that come standard on all operating systems. I'll be spending a minute or two summarizing what's available to you. On a Windows system, there's Character Map, and then there's Nexus Font, which is free software that many people prefer over Character Map. On a Mac, if you're running OS 10.9 or later, Fontbook will be your go-to application to access the swashes. If your operating system is a version prior to 10.9, the process consists of a combination of Mac's Character Viewer and Fontbook. There are some other inexpensive options outside of what your operating system has to offer. Be sure to take a look at the link I've provided which has more information on all of this. So now let's get back to Spamonti. I'm showing it here in its standard character setting. For the uppercase letters, there are three different looks you can choose from. The standard uppercase is the fanciest, and then there's a simpler version that can be found in stylistic alternates, and an even more simplified unconnected uppercase set in the titling feature. Speaking of titling, Spamonti is a connected script. However, if you activate that feature, it turns into an unconnected script. Just a quick note, if you don't have a program like Illustrator that has an open type panel, you can still create this look. You just need to select the unconnected glyphs from Character Map or Fontbook or whatever utility you're using. Now let's talk about contextual alternates. Contextual alternates is an open type feature that, when activated, replaces a standard letter with another letter that looks or works better in its place. For example, you see how the exit strokes or tails of these letters are kind of long? They interfere a bit when there's a hyphen that follows the letter or get a little too close to the comma. In Spamonti, as well as most of my script fonts, I've prepared a set of alternates that have short exit strokes, which makes the font look a little bit tidier and gives it more polish. Another role of contextual alternates is to improve the appearance of certain beginning letter forms, such as the R, S, X, and Z. Without it activated, there's these short little entrance strokes. When we're handwriting, it's more common to draw it like this, with longer entrance strokes for the R and the S. And this serves another purpose. It helps the letter fit better with the rest of the word as it blends in with the other letters. With the letters X and Z, the opposite is true. Having this entrance stroke at the beginning of the word isn't as clean looking as having it removed. Again, this reflects how our natural handwriting looks. Another great thing about contextual alternates is they help create a more natural appearance. You'll notice it here when I type in two of the same letters in a row. One letter is replaced with an alternate. Okay, so now let's move on to the swashes, because that's what really allows you to create a lot of different looks. There are 215 of them in Spamonti. You can do something simple or go all out and really dress up a word. And swashes are great. They give you much more control of the design than if you just had a standard character set where your only choice would be to type it out and leave it as is. On to Spamonti Shadow. There are two versions of this. One version has a shadow built in, which is called Spamonti Regular plus Shadow, and a version that is a shadow by itself, called Spamonti Shadow, which accompanies Spamonti Regular. The use of Spamonti Regular with Spamonti Shadow added as a separate file allows you to apply different colors to the letters and the shadows. To use Spamonti Regular and the shadow together, type your text with Spamonti Regular on the first layer. Next, duplicate the layer, select the text, and change it to Spamonti Shadow. Nudge the shadow layer to the right and down to your liking. Last but not least are the 25 ornaments. I try to include ornaments in all of my fonts as they can add so much to your design. Add a swash here that was drawn to complement the font and that one subtle change can really finish it. And it saves you time from having to draw your own elements or trying to find stock illustration instead. And that's it! Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and if you purchased Pimonti, I thank you for that as well. I hope you have as much fun designing with it as I had designing it.